uh, the one China policy considering Taiwan an intelligible part of Chinese territory, said the statement from Foreign Affairs Ministry in part. Somalia said it has long-standing relations with China, with the cooperation between the two friendly countries in the political and economic and development sectors. The statement comes hours after Chinese ambassador to Somalia for his tension welcomed the appointment of the new ministries by Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barwe. The envoy said he looks forward to continuing work with the appointed ministries in Somalia. Somali's federal parliament on Sunday morning voted overwhelmingly to support and approve the 75-member cabinet on Sunday, less than a week after the Somali prime minister has appointed the new ministries of his government. According to the leadership of the parliament, 237 MPs attended the meeting about uh, 200. 29 MPs have voted for the cabinet, while MPs rejected the cabinet. At one uh, MP has abstained uh, from voting, according to the Speaker of the People's Assembly, Sheikh Adan Madobe. Last week, Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre has unveiled uh, his Council of Ministries, which included Al Shabaab's former deputy leader Mukhtar Robo Ali Abu Mansur, as the Minister of the Religious Affairs, and Senator Saleh Ahmed Jama as deputy prime minister. Hamza Abdi Barre, who was appointed to the post by President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed in June of this year, named the 75 member Council of Ministries which comprises of 26 cabinet ministries, 25 deputies, and 24 state ministries. Somali's government is facing uh, critical challenges, including the fight against uh, Al-Shabaab and the current uh, drought that affected over 7 million, half of the population in south and central regions of the country. United Nations is, is warning another vermin in Somalia as the crisis is warning by the day. A suicide explosion was reported in Johar City, located 90 kilometers north of the capital Mogadishu earlier on Sunday morning. At least one Somali woman was reportedly died in the attack and several others wounded. Uh, the car pump has exploded outside a key hotel within the city, uh, which serves as the regional administration of Hirushabel, a state of southern Somalia. The attack has been uh, the most uh, deadliest uh, in case it has exploded in the hotel, but police have thwarted the attack to reach its target, according to the eyewitnesses. The car pump has exploded a security checkpoint near the presidential palace of Hirushabel, a state. 
At least uh, one woman was confirmed dead and four others were wounded, including two soldiers. Meanwhile, another explosion was reported in northern Somalia. One child uh, has been killed uh, and two others wounded in an explosion in northern Somalia, officials and witnesses say. Officials in the Bura district said the children were playing with a grenade they had found in a grazing veld. A family member said children picked up the device and played with it until it exploded. Officials said it could be a palm left during the civil war in Somalia. The children who died and were injured, several others are aged between 7 and 10 years old. Elsewhere, five medical practitioners driving an ambulance heading to the scene had sustained injuries after their vehicle collided with a passenger vehicle near the scene of the explosion. All the victims are undergoing the treatment in Bura District Hospital. We are still watching our news in English live from Mogadishu. The people of Kenya are heading to their polling stations on Tuesday to elect a new president after the mandate of the current president Uhuru Kenyatta has expired this year. The Kenyan people are heading to their polling stations under a heavy security presence along the streets in the capital, Nairobi. Kenya has deployed additional troops to the Somali border to prevent Al-Shabaab from carrying out attacks during the voting process in the Horn of African nation. Raila Odinga, the former Prime Minister of Kenya, is facing the current Deputy President uh, William Ruto, who is uh, contesting for the top seat of Kenya. Kenyanis say they are happy to cast their votes in the general elections, which comes as the country is facing numerous crises in security and the economic are the main challenges of the country. William Ruto, who is current deputy president of Kenya, uh, has been at loggerheads with his uh, post Uhuru Kenyatta for the past uh, few months as Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting uh, his rival candidate Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga has several times contested for the president uh, but failed his bid uh, to achieve his goal is to lead the country. Uh, Kenyan security forces were seen uh, deployed uh, along the Somali border as they have been on alert of possible Al-Shabaab attacks. Kenya has suffered deadly attacks since it is through this crossed into the Somali border in 2011 to carry out an operation against uh, Al-Shabaab. Kenyan forces are now part of the African Union mission in Somalia and uh, they are operating in Jubilan regions. That's all for our today's English News live from Mogadishu with me. I am Omar Noor and the rest of the team here in our studio. We leave you. Bye for now.